Greetings, my name is Neo Second, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Higurashi When They Cry Chapter 2. In the last episode, we played another game with the rest of the club members, called Sympathy, where the objective was to try and guess which... We're get, I'm getting tongue twisted here. Where the objective was to basically pick a random topic, and then predict the first word that will come to everybody else's mind, and, dep and depending on the number of people who say the exact same word relating to the topic chosen, you get you get X amount of points for however many number of people have chosen it. Whereas if nobody were to uh, guess, were, nobody were to choose the right thing, well, not the right thing, the exact same thing, nobody would get points. Basically, the one who had the most points is the winner, while the one at the least points would be the loser and would have to suffer a penalty game. Predictably, Keiichi was the loser in this whole game, and he had to basically carry a Mion's uh, luggage back home with him, dressed up as a maid. Even right down to the unmentionables. So, that was, um, something for the poor guy. Then later on, at that same night, uh, uh, Keiichi and his father went to a restaurant over in a nearby town, and while they were there... We ran into, um, appar apparently, uh, Mion's twin sister, Shion Sonozaki. Now, uh, Keiji doesn't seem to believe that, uh, this Sh Shion that he spoke to at the, at the restaurant actually exists, and it's some kind of character that Mion has put on, but I am... I have no reason to believe at this point that it really is a the same person, like he seems to think. So, yeah. She seems, uh... So far, she seems to be uh, the polar opposite of uh, Mion in regards to personality. And I have a feeling we're going to run into her more and more before long. But time will tell, I guess. How soon we'll run into each other again, I mean. And that pretty much covers the gist of everything for the last episode. So, I'm going to view the new tips I unlocked before we start the next chapter. Is there really a Shion? Well, I'm pretty sure there is. Based on the currently available evidence. I have no reason to think that there isn't. Huh? Mion san's family? Yeah. More broadly, I was just wondering if she had any brothers or anything. I was actually wondering whether her younger twin sister named Shion really existed, and my curiosity got the better of me, so I quietly asked Satoko about it. Hmm... Um, I wonder... She might, she might not. You don't know? Unless you're playing some kind of game with him right now and you actually do know, then... I wonder, why wouldn't you know about that? About whether or not Shion had any siblings? She wasn't being very clear about it. Had Satoko never gone over to Mion's house to play? From your reaction, I guess you never met any. Yes, I've never seen any of her relatives except for her grandmother. Hmm. Interesting. As far as I could tell, there were already dark clouds over the Shion is real theory. Rika would know more than I. You would do well to ask her. Okay, what do you know, Rika? Soko waved to Rika chan, who was basking in the sunlight. Rika, Mio-san's Rika, do you know anything about Mion San's family? Rika was surprised at the sudden question. Mi has a big family, so I don't really know everything about them. Not many. Huh? For example, hmm. Hmm. Is there someone named Shion Sonozaki? Um, well, I might have heard wrong, so she might not actually exist, but... 
She はいますですよ。You mean she? She only exists. Okay, so you know at least. Huh? That was unexpected. So she was real. Hmm. The names are quite similar, you know. Well, yeah. From what I can tell, I think it's actually somewhat of a common thing to do with when it comes to naming twin twins in Japan. Have uh, similar sound and sounding names to each other, or at least, or at least names that have uh, a similarity to one another in terms of their themes. Like you name them after uh, flowers or abstract concepts or stuff like that. You could, I could get tongue-tied trying to tell the difference. I don't know, I think it's a pretty obvious difference to me. I mean, one starts with a m m sound, or me, while, one, while the other starts with a she. Me, she. I've heard she's me's younger twin sister, but I haven't met her too many times. Rika Chan knew about her and knew a bit about her as well, but I hadn't seen her much. I think I met her once at a funeral a few years ago. A funeral? She's not in this class, so maybe she goes to school in Okinomiya. She may live there too. Mion san herself lives apart from her family and her grandmother, after all. Really? I wonder why that's the case. She didn't live with her parents? That was a bit odd. Was there something between them? It's a very complicated family. I'm kind of getting that impression, yeah. She seems to have many relatives. There are doubtless many different circumstances. For now, I learned that she had a younger twin sister named Xion, but her family structure, including her own position, still seemed very mysterious. Oh! Oh, what are, what are the three of you talking about? Let this old man in on it. Speak of the devil. Well, devil's sister. Oh, Mion san, you've come at a good time. Might be true that you have a younger twin sister. Ah, uh, Mion. Crap. Uh, a younger sister? Uh, well, yeah, I do. Mion crew uncharacteristically red in the face. At a loss. Hmm. Interesting reaction. I think she's looking at me. Oh my. I had no idea. What kind of person might she be? I would very much like to meet her sometime. You shouldn't bother. She's not cute at all. Um, okay. She's really conceited. Besides, other than talking to her on the phone once in a while, I haven't seen her for a long time either. You haven't seen her for a long time. So you guys then talk regularly on the phone with each other, but you haven't actually seen one another that often. Like I said, very interesting family, uh, very interesting um, family, I don't know, situation that we got here. If you can call it that. Why did it look like she was in such a panic? It's like she was declaring that Xion from yesterday was actually a fake. Anyway, this is pretty funny, so I let it go on and go for a little while longer. 
another Meon, under the name of Shion. Will I be able to see her if I go to that restaurant again? I had a mysterious feeling, as if I made a new friend, despite knowing that she and Meon were the same person. Still don't believe it, huh? So Mion lives a, lives away with, from the rest of her family with her grandmother. She has a younger si she has a twin sister, but she hasn't seen her very often, for who knows how long. But she apparently maintains regular contact through over the phone. Interesting. Yeah, it seems like the rest of the uh, the rest of the family through the uncles anyway don't mind. Uh, Having uh, Mion or or Xion working uh, their businesses, so yeah, I feel like there's something to this here that I'm not quite getting, but I don't have enough information here to really have a good idea of what that is. So I guess all I can do now is just keep on going, and then I guess eventually I'll find out. An introduction to Angel Boy. Reprinted from the Victorious War Photographer's Guide, April Issue. Complete Conquest Analysis. Family Restaurant Chapter. Now at last, we come to the blazing hot third day. To Angel Mort, a super famous restaurant, in the envy of all enthusiasts, despite being located in the remote Shishiboni city of... blank prefecture. Why exactly... Do the fam most famous stores avoid the centers of human habitation? It can only be because it is a, tr a trial given to us by the god of war photography. It's famous, lo it's famous locally for having the best desserts in town, but that, matters, but that matters not to us. If you want expensive desserts, then you can just go to a censored place or something. Hmm. Censored place, huh? I do know that uh, brand names, uh, brand names of real life companies are kind of picky about having their names referenced in fictional fictional works from Japan, and so to avoid uh, whatever copyright laws that they've got in place there, they uh, have to either censor the name somehow or use a completely made-up name altogether. But then again, I guess the state, the United States, has something similar too. Well, but not quite as strictly enforced. But alas, I'm no expert on uh, copyright law, so I should probably just shut up before I say something blatantly wrong. We aim not for sweet treats, but for sweet uniforms. The fragrant aroma of sweet wa of sweet wa uh, wafts, well, wafts, wafts. I'll go with sweet wafts of uh, of sweat. Why? Why did I read sweet? Sweet. The fragrant aroma of sweat wa uh, wa uh, wafts from these obligatory wa waitress uniforms, creating no less than a public torture device. How can their bashful flirtation be on par with all the other restaurants of cute uniforms all across the country? War photography hunter. Away! The smoking areas are the real superpositions. Aim for your chance at them with the tenacity of an octopus. Yesterday, I failed to get a, to get seating. Today, I will aim for the ultimate golden seat. The corner box in the smoking area. The taku are overwhelmingly non-smokers. So, so I'll procure a spot in the smoking area and set up a camp, set up camp there. As expected of Ryu, the hunter. He's saying his victory was his side the moment he chose his seat. 
In actuality, Ryu used the same tactic during the grand opening of Akihabara's blank and succeeded in getting the best seats in the house. Back then, he also went on, he also went early in the afternoon, just after a lunch rush, and not only did he find his target seat empty, he also obtained it with ease. By utilizing tricks, such as ordering a little at a time, he effectively increased the number of opportunities for engagement, carefully scoping out his chance for a picture. But, as if cursed by that from the day before, the god of photography did not smile upon him. After suffering successive firm defeats until 3 p.m., he finds no chances coming his way. And after 4 p.m., a man began to take his orders. It looks as though he's been he, he has been he has been seen through. It is the rule of a hunter to withdraw with grace once marked. My aim was perfect, but the fork technique used at 2:30 seemed to have backfired. Maybe they were wary, since I sat in a booth and left my bag on the floor. My camera was already hidden in my travel bag. It might fossilize in there. If there were two digit EGs evol involved for, st for sticking here half a day, I'd have a high encounter rate. I am mortified. Even so, he's still got a few pieces of gold. As to be expected from the hunter. He attained this nice angle, despite lamenting his failure. He is an artisan. More surprising, though, is that this uniform conquest across Japan has yielded not a single arrested person. What an amazing start for the hunter who brags about having been to, the, to approximately half of the total prefectural police stations in the country. That thing the day before. The day before, our hunter took on the, sh the shrine man cuisine blank in, Na in Nagoya. His hunter spirit showed through zoo, uh, zoo, too zealously, and as soon as he entered the store, he was seen through, placed in a booth, and waited on by the head priest. Despite waiting half a day, the much-anticipated shrine maidens appeared only at the time of his first order. A seriously huge blunder for a hunter. Now then, here we have the giveaway of the hunter's original photographs that always receive such high praise. We'll present, one pa we'll present one passionate reader with three all-you-can-eat low-angle pictures of the Angel Mort uniforms, chosen by the hunter himself. With such blazing hot pictures, you too can become a war photographer today. Well, I guess I'm glad to know that there are some papers that there are some papers being run that are full of enthusiastic hunters, shall we say? But otherwise, I don't. I didn't really take anything useful from this little tip at all. Oh well. Let's continue. Hey, Teach. Listen up, everybody. If you don't take cooking seriously, somebody's going to get hurt. This is a part of your education as well, so don't fool around and do it seriously. A lazy, yeah, wafted through the class in response. Half of the school day today was going to be in home economics class. The plan was for everybody to make curry rice and give it to the forest rangers who let this building be rented out of school. If everybody were making curry in the same spot, it would have been more of a party-like atmosphere. But this was school, after all. Excluding the youngest students, each one of us would be making our own curry, with the results being judged. Alright, everybody. Now, 
It may be that nowadays curry is an easy meal anybody can make, but it has its roots in traditional Indian cuisine. Nihon shiki ni arrange sareta to aie, so ko ni wa kodai indo no eichi to bunka ga komerare teimasu. Even though we've altered it a bit in the Japanese style, it is still instilled in the knowledge and culture of ancient India. Now that you mention it, I do think I vaguely recall hearing at one point that、uh, curry did have some、uh, roots in, in, in India. Yume yume. So no koto o rosaka ni shi nai yori. Absolutely do not neglect that fact. Shinken ni yara nai hito wa sensei ga honki de okorimasu kara. So no tsumori de. I'll have words with anybody who doesn't take this seriously, so be prepared for that. That seems like a needlessly passionate sermon on curry. Well, whatever. Chie sensei wa kare ni no shikakete ru te uwasa de shite yo. It's rumored that Chie sensei has devoted her life to curry. Saite wa kito kibishi desu wa yo. She'll probably be a pretty strict judge. Kate ka no tensu nan ka. As long as you're not failing, your grade in home ec doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter at all. I kind of disagree with you there, but I'm not in the mood to argue with you about school grades. I wouldn't say that if I were you. Reina seems argumentative enough about it, though, so I'll let her do the legwork for me this time. The teacher's a tyrant when it comes to curry. What the heck does that even mean? A curry tyrant? Never heard of that before. You see, our normally mild mannered teacher. For some unfathomable reason, is a stickler for curry. そりゃもう熱中的なくらいに。Oh, passionately so. うん。Yeah. 秘伝のカレーを研究するためにって言って、毎年インドに旅行に行ってるって言ってたもんね。Yeah. It said that every year she goes on journey to India to research mythical curry. 風の噂ですと、ご飯は三色カレーライスで、たまに他のものを食べる時でも必ずカレー味というこだわりぶりらしいですの。This is just a rumor, but it seems that she eats curry rice three meals a day, and if she occasionally has something else, it's always it always has to be curry flavored. Even I like a little variety to my to my diet, like a lot more variety than this. I understand really liking a, really liking a certain kind of food, like stick a good pizza in front of me, then I'll be happy. But well, even I even I need variety. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd get sick of eating the same food, types of foods there all the time. That's not unyielding. That's unnatural. Is she part of an evil cult or something? An evil curry cult, and she's the head of the cult. Daitai, curry is not junk food. No, it's not. Three types of curry are nutritionally superior. Besides, doesn't curry top the list when it comes to junk food? Curry three times a day is just un- weird, nutritionally speaking. And here comes the curry tyrant with a heavy dose of a, of a physical assault embedded into the table right by my fingertips. A chef's knife, ladle, and spatula hummed gently as they still quivered. Never mind. I guess she doesn't feel violent right now. The teacher, while still mixing her own pot, was looking this way, smiling. Kaya, shh. Kaya-chan, shh. So if you say more, you'll be sleeping into fishes. If you say more, you'll be sleeping into fishes. Yeah, and then she'll probably chop you up and make you into her, make you as part of her next curry dish. Saving a little bit more would make my situation a lot more dire. Hey, hey. Yeah, yeah. しっかり真面目にカレーを作ればいいわけだろ。Just be serious and make your curry properly, and everything's good. All right. でも今日はそう簡単にはいかないのです。I don't think it's going to be that easy today. あのね、みーちゃんが。Look, Mi-chan is. 
It's written all over her face. If the playing field is even, and we're being judged, there's no way this won't turn into a competition. Looks like we're all on the same page. It's a cooking contest! I knew it! There's no way Mion would leave such an enticing event alone. How shall we determine the victor? By how the teacher judges it? I think that's a very straightforward way to do that. As if saying, but wait, there's more! The teacher reappeared with the principal in tow. Tao, excuse me. I don't even know what I'm trying to say anymore. Ignore me. The purpose of today's event is to show appreciation for the people at the, at the forestry service, so they'll be judging the results with me. Hmm. Yup. Your teacher and I, as well as five people from the forestry service, will be judging your cooking. Good luck to everyone. <laughs> so, seven judges in total. Even the principal? Looking around, it seemed like the interest of everybody in the class had been piqued. So that's what's happening. This isn't going to be just some casual curry cook-off. Reina is good at making curry. I'm not going to lose today. My grade is cooking in a, in a, in a group, so I'm together with Rika. That's not, that's not fair. I'm pretty sure that Rika is good at cooking. My curry is so tasty, it'll send shivers down your spine. What about Mion? She doesn't seem like she's too good at cooking. Her type has always been bad at this kind of thing. But Mion continued to look unconcerned. I'll tell you what Kei chan is thinking right now. You really need to get a mask for yourself, boy. So they can't just read your face all the time. Mion is definitely Mion is definitely bad at cooking. Am I right? I I don't like the way she said that. It couldn't be. Mion couldn't possibly. At that moment, the teacher's whistle sounded. All right, everybody. Are you ready? Be very careful with the knives. Start! The call to arms had sounded. We had to use an outdoor kit to cook the rice, but it wasn't that difficult for a camping veteran like me. Put the rice into the canister, push your palm to the bottom, and fill with water to just above the wrist. Are you alright with only that much water? If you don't put in more, it could be bad. You filthy liar. If I put in any more, I'll just be left with some half-cooked porridge! Satoko, if that's meant to be a trick, it won't work. I'm used to cooking rice with these utensils. I don't know, Keiichi. Somehow I don't think she's tricking you this time. You know, speaking of tricks, I'm amazed. I haven't... I don't think I've, uh... Wait a minute. Did I fall for a trap? Did I fall for one of your uh, traps yet in this chapter? Ah, oh, whatever. I'll, I'll ignore it for now. First, it starts to bubble. Then, steam, then the steam starts to pull. And don't take off the lid, no matter what. Uh, hmm. you're amazing. This is a little unexpected. 
サマーキャンプで習ったのかな Did you learn this at summer camp? 親父がデイキャンプが好きでさ。My dad really likes to go camping, you see. 夏場なんかにはよく家族で出かけるんだよ。Whenever summer comes around, our family goes a lot. ってことは、全員ご飯の炊き方は問題なし。Yeah, she definitely hasn't pulled any of, any of her traps from her, her traps on KG yet, like she would do off in chapter one. Okay. So this means everybody is good at cooking the rice. つまり、勝負の分かれ目はカレーの方ってことになるね。In other words, the critical part of this challenge will be the curry. <laughs> カレーこそリカの独壇場ですのよ。カレーはリカのスペシャルティー。みなさんのコテンパンですわ。We'll、cream you all. リカのってとこが泣けるぞ。お前も何か料理を手伝えよ。Why don't you help the cooking too? ひょっとすると、サトコちゃんは何もお手伝いをしないのが一番のお手伝いなのかもね。Hmm, maybe. So Toko chan is helping the most by doing nothing at all. How lazy! <laughs> you are lazy, Totoko! She saw right through you! The ends justify the means! What means? You're doing nothing! I just have to win! That was a pretty malicious comment for Reina. And Soko took it hook, line, and sinker. Rina could only apologize between fits of laughter while Satoko chased her around. Well, now, should we move on to the curry? For now, the battle truly begins. After rinsing off the carrots, potatoes, and other standard vegetables, I grasped the knife. What will today's curry taste like? As Reina hummed along, her very well practiced hands wielded her knife. The rhythmical sound of the knife hitting the cutting board harkened to kind images of days long past. Simply put, it was perfect. It was so calm and practiced. I seriously don't stand a chance! I looked over at Satoko and Rika chan. Satoko was in charge of washing the vegetables, while Rika chan was in charge of peeling them. That's why I heard being discussed. But Rika chan's knife skills are something else as well. She was happily rotating the potato and peeling it quick, quite quickly. On top of that, the peel spanned the entire potato. What was that called again? Katsuramuki? I've heard that peeling a vegetable in one loop around like that is a highly regarded technique. She picked up the peel from the sink and carved, and carved a pair of eyes into it with her knife. It's a snake. Roar. Snakes don't roar, but that is cute. So, you get no complaints from me. Saying that she placed the longly peeled potato skin on, the top, on, on top of the head of a boy from the group. She wasn't even breaking a sweat. When it comes to Rika chan and cooking, I couldn't even hold a candle to her. But. Roar? Do snakes make that sound? Who fucking cares? She made it cute! Alright then, how's Mion doing? She's definitely just fumbling along. There's no way she can peel a potato so effortlessly like that! Absolutely no way! The denial is strong in this one, ladies and gentlemen. I think we, I sh I think we should all play another round of sympathy, but without all of the bells and whistles. And just pity this poor man. This can't be! You've gotta be kidding me! She's, this is a trick! She's using special effects! Where's the wire? She's definitely using a wire! Here, take a look-see. 
As if she had already won, Mion proudly showed me the elongated potato skin. You didn't know, Keiichi? Mi was taught how to cook by her grandma. Not just cooking. All this, all this talking about, all this talking about cooking stuff here is making me want to cook up a cook up a dish of General So's chicken. A di that's a dish I definitely know how to make, and me personally, I'm quite proud of my of my little dish, without taste in the end. But damn, is it a pain in the butt sometimes to prepare? How I prepare it anyway. From sewing the flower arrangement to playing Nakoto, from marksmanship to radio operation. Even helicopter piloting is but one of the myriad of things you can do. Helicopter piloting? What the kind? What the fuck kind of? What kind of fuck kind of life did her grandma lead to teach her all that shit? Strangely enough, the, la the latter items were more realistic. It was the first few items on that list that seemed like a lie. So you believe that she can pilot a freaking helicopter? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, the latter. Just want to make sure I didn't misread that. She's actually really good at cooking. It's just such a hassle that she never does it, though. Damn it! Yeah, cooking can be a hassle depending on what you're making, but if you do everything right, the end results can be so fucking good. I'm also really good. At, I'm also really good at cooking, especially Chinese food. I bet all my Chinese dishes can trump yours, Keiichi. You'd just be a complete amateur compared to my skill. Keiichi, boiling something and pouring into a bowl doesn't count as cooking. Shut down before I can even say it. Ha! I'm leagues above you. Too bad for you. Today, Keiji san shall be assuredly languishing in defeat all alone. Clank, don't attack the small child, you dick! Tough words from somebody who can't even cook by herself! <laughs> now, look what you did. There, there. I'll destroy Keiji for you. Now look what you've done, you nitwit! You've now made Rika angry! Gah! This doesn't look good. Everybody is smirking at me! Well, ladies, don't raise a white flag yet, Keiji, my borrow. You might as well just toss. You might as well just prop up a dozen. But at this point, now she got Rika coming after you. Don't throw away this match. Calm down and think. How about how those how to peel those potatoes well? How about how to win this challenge? There's too many people watching. I'm going to work at another sink. Same only that. I gathered up all the vegetables and left that spot behind me. Behind, excuse me. Keiichi-kun, are Well, Keiichi-kun be alright. No. I'm worried he might cut himself with his knife. Let's see what Keiichi-chan's doing. No matter how hard I try peeling these, if I slip up at this speed, I'll wop my fingers right off. Then, there's only one thing left to do. Hey there, Fancy is burning into you here. And again, you do all go to the same school. Tomata-kun! Okamura-kun! Oh, you guys were in a group of four, huh? Relying on these two to bail you out again, huh? You really are pathetic, man. You have no—you have no skill, no honor. 
It was the 200 classmen that had become my sworn brothers ever since the event at that toy store last Sunday. They've been paired with two girls for their group. Oh, hi. Yup. Both the girls are pretty good at cooking. So both of us can just mess around and we'll be okay. Lazy! Both of you! You should be ashamed! Both of them pointed at the girls. They're not as good as Reina, but they were both good enough at handling the knife. I'll get straight to the point. At this rate, I'm going to lose this contest. Weak! Give me the vegetables your group has peeled already. Maybara-san, that's pretty much theft. But depending on what's in it for us, now you're gonna owe them two things at this rate, Mukeji. In other words, it depends on the terms of negotiation. <laughs> Quite bold of you guys. Well, that's to be expected. Then let's do this. I think that you should just accept your inevitable defeat gracefully and then get good at cooking. So that way, you will act you will actually win with legitimate skills that you that you've developed on your own later on. That's how you get that's how you win at life, my my friend. Is that you just get good! If I, win, if I win, I'll let you eat the curry that Satoko and Rika Chan's group makes. How's that? How about that? Uh, I don't know about that. Both of them were hesitant after such a witty proposal. One more, little, one more little push seems in order. Very well then, let's make them an offer they can't refuse. I pulled both of them close by the shoulders and made my offer in a hushed tone. Of course, that includes the part that Satoko and Rika-chan have already eaten some of. And just how do you, are you going to uh, whisk the, away those bits of food from them when they're not when uh, they're not looking gonna distract them by dressing up as a maid again or something and then just whip your hand right behind them as they're looking straight at you can you even reach that far spoon, let's get I'll even throw in the spoons even the spoons you poor pitiful man your pride is going to be your downfall That is, if you aren't tried for a homicide, but a homicide for of these two little kids first, you know, making them bleed to death and all. A red mist spouted vigorously from the noses of the two underclassmen. Hmm. Keiji san is also pretty good at this. These are some very nice potatoes. Having brilliantly cleared the vegetable peeling challenge, I returned to my comrades in triumph. Whoa, amazing, amazing! Keishi kun's peeling is really good. <laughs> That's not quite right. What, what Keishin has barred isn't a potato. But his fangs. His fang tatoes! Ah. Yeah. I'm super serious about this. I'll crush you all! Having finished with, pre with preparing the vegetables, next is to boil a pot of water. Then add the vegetables in order of which the take took the takes longest to cook. I learned this part from my mother when we went camping. But, just cooking in order, it probably won't garner a lot of points. Look over at Reina. 
She had a variety of vegetables coming to cooking together in a delicate balance. She wasn't being ambitious or calculating a way to win the game. She was making delicious food of a mother's touch. Yeah, that's a, that sounds like a winning formula to me right there. I have a feeling that I could somehow compete with Mion in terms of technique, but I'd be no match for Reina. I'm glad you recognized that, Keiji. There may be some hope for you yet. She was way out of my week. When my mother makes curry, you see, she always uses lots of ingredients. That's why Reina's curry uses a lot of lots of ingredients as well. I really, I really wanted to take all night and stew it nice and slow. I beg of you. Will you please help just a little with my curry? <laughs> no, so blunt. I love it. This is one of our club activities. Reina won't lose. Ugh. She has this club mode, even the normally kind Reina becomes an enemy. Looks like Rika Chan is cooking the apples as well. He's like a pro at this. How about Mion? What? Mion, teme! Mion, you! What the heck is that? Where'd you get meat from? I predicted what we would be doing today by looking at the schedule. <laughs> oh. Cheating, but smart. So I prepared accordingly. My curry is going to be marvelous. Upon closer inspection, it looks like Mion brought her own vegetables and spices and other ingredients. They were spread all over the place. Mion, just for today, you brought all this stuff from your house! Objection! Gee, Sensei! There's no way this is allowed, is it? Objection overruled. Well, we're fucked. As long as you make it as long as it makes for delicious curry, anything goes. Well, you heard the lady, Keishi. You might as well start getting a bit more ruthless about this, too, if you want to have any chance of, of not coming in dead last. Ugh. For that, norm for that normally serious teacher to go so far as to append a star to the end of her sentence. Just as the rumor said, she's a through and through curry freak. Reina and Rika chan are naturally gifted. Reina and Rika-chan are naturally gifted chefs. I come with thorough preparations. And... Kei-chan? Kei-chan, what about you? <laughs> it's hopeless. In the grand scheme of cooking, peeling the vegetables is the only, only a small part of it. The hurdles I must overcome are just too numerous. And too high! Maibara-san! My bar is San. Over here. Turning around, I saw the voices calling me belong to the two underclassmen from earlier. Tomatakun and Omakura-kun. What's up, you guys? Hmm? What's up with that pot? Is this from your group? Switch this with your pot before somebody notices. I think that the curry the girls from our group made, at the very least, is better than what you could make. You guys... For me? Don't get the wrong idea. If you don't win, then we... That is... Oh, that's right. If I don't win, 
then the talk of eating Satoko and Rika-chan's curry goes right out the window. It seems like you guys are getting wild up about this too. Sorry, I'm in your debt. But I'm surprised the girls in your group agreed to this. You swiped them without them noticing, did, didn't you? My Barasan. We're also serious about this. Filling in on day on day duty three times. These guys, to assure me victory, have paid the price. That gaze filled with burning conviction from my underclassmen. Yeah, I'm not fighting this alone. I'm fighting this with everyone! Leave it to me! Save some room, boys! I'll definitely let you eat your fill! We shall be eagerly awaiting your victory! You boys are gonna be disappointed. It's a gas stove, so controlling the heat is easy. All that's left is to let it stew a bit. The delicious smell of curry began, wet, began wafting, wafting upwards. The pot gifted to me by my two underclassmen certainly drew some double takes. Reina even looked surprised when she came to take a look, so it must be pretty good. Kei-chan, you're pretty good at stealing other people's hard labor. It looks like this will be a good match right to the bitter end. Reina wants to eat Keiji-kun's curry. Curry! Reina's curry, and Mion's curry too. Everybody is a worthy opponent. I've done my very best. But I'm not sure of the outcome. Keiji-san, Rika's calling you. Go see what she wants. What? Rika-chan's calling me? What could it be? I have a bad feeling about this. Well, whatever. While I'm still at it, I can gather some intelligence on the enemy. Rika-chan was doodling on the ground in front of the pot. Because all that's left is to, is to let stew. Even then, it's good to know that she doesn't leave the stove unattended. Yo! Hey Rika, how's yours doing? It's Mr. Curry. Mr. Curry. I like it. Huh? Rika-chan was doodling something strange and introduced it as Mr. Curry. Mr. Curry is amazing. He shoots beams from his eyes. That does sound amazing. Pew pew. Apparently, Mr. Curry shoots beams from his eyes. So, what else can Mr. Curry do, Rika? Can he breathe fire, too? Drawing a beam of a stick, she etched a line towards my feet. Does that mean I've been shot with a laser? Well, you better get into the act and turn yourself into a pile of ash and smoke, Keiichi. Right now. Good boy. Bad boy. Barrier. Beam reflect. I took another stick in my hand and reflected the beam, striking Mr. Curry. Mr. Curry can shoot missiles from his stomach, so he's Mr. Curry is a cyborg. My bar is super electromagnetic barrier! And retaliatory be retaliatory beam! Mr. Curry absorbs beam energy and fires his impulse wave cannon. 
Mr. Curry is a fucking cyborg badass. Rika-chan and I scratched at the ground, thoroughly engrossed in our doodle war. Oh, wait a minute, I just had a thought. Is this supposed to distract Keiichi from something that the rest of the club members are doing? Wait a moment. Nah, Rika-chan. Hey, Rika-chan. You call me here for a reason, right? Yes, I Yes, I called you. But I've already fulfilled my purpose. I knew it! At that moment, a chill ran up my spine. Already fulfilled her purpose? Yeah. They got me! Head back to my spot. Standing there, just as I feared, was Satoko. With no questions asked, I drop kicked the back of her head. Good God, are you trying to kill her? I know this is. What do you think you're doing? You're. Oh, thank God, she has a thick head. But this is. But this is also uh, anime physics and uh, biology. I guess we're taking into consideration too. Bodily injury is only as severe as the plot demands. What do you think you're doing? You know better than to do that to a lady's head? Who cares about that? I do, you dickweed! Satoko, did you mix something in with my cur? How impertinent. I haven't fallen that far. Despite what you may think, I'm a fair person, you know. <laughs> That's cute, but no. All your traps from Chapter 1 prove that you most certainly are not fair. Then what's this incomprehensible line of lat ladles and plates? Ladles, excuse me. What is up with my goddamn English today? What's up, what's up with it every day, to be fair? Seems like I can't go by a single video without butchering the English language at least once. Lead them all in these unstable positions. If they fall over, what will you do? At that moment, a gentle breeze blew by, knocking over a ladle that was stood up on its end. That ladle, like a domino, fell over and knocked over the next cooking utensil in a row. Wap 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 wap. Clank clank. Thud thud. This is art. Oh yes, it is. So Come to think of it, Domino World Record Challenges were quite the rage on television a while back. K-chan! The frying pan! I didn't even have time to react. The chain reaction knocked over a cutting board. Then a frying pan. The next after that was... My pot. Oh boy. The fry pan struck my pot full force. Tipping it over! The contents cruelly spelled out. And now my masterpiece was being sampled by the schoolyard. I stared, dumbfounded. It was such a beautiful and elaborate mousetrap that for a moment, I lost touch with reality. Okay, ladies, if this is the kind of depths that you'll stoop to in order to make sure that I lose, why don't I go and uh, sample your pots too while I'm at it, shall I? Oh my, oh my, this is a catastrophe. I didn't do anything, you hear me? <laughs> Where's your pot? At the very last moment, I let my guard down. I ignored the culinary incompetent Satoko for too long. Even if she couldn't cook, Satoko still had this method of fighting back. 
Just then, Reyna, who had been sampling her own pot, let out a scream. <laughs> what? <laughs> Reyna's curry is... salty? Salty? Reyna also... was Reyna also sabotaged? And what about Mion? My rice is salty! Well, I can think of three things that she could have stuck in all your curry. Number one, just good old salt. Number two, the tears of all her enemies. Or three, just lots of soy sauce. I've been had! <laughs> Fair. You. Right. That's cute. With all this, the obstacles in my way have been taken care of before the fight even begins. My apologies to the rest of you ladies. I thought you were all in on this little scheme of uh, Rika's and uh, Satoko's, but apparently I was wrong. It was all these two right here. Everybody, help me secure the pot! All that effort wasted. So sad, so sad. So very, very sad. We could chance to Toka rubbed my dumbfounded head to their heart's discontent. Secure their pot, fool! Pushing the desks together, it was about time for the meals to be judged. The delicious odor of curry spread throughout the courtyard. The members of the forestry service, to whom we owed gratitude for their daily work, were guided to their seats. The principal gave a bit of a ceremonial introduction. Next, the teacher expressed her desire for them to judge the curry contest. The men from the forestry service seemed to, to like that kind of thing and gave their enthusiastic approval. Well then, is everybody finished? We'll now have all the judges sample your cooking. Everybody in class brought up their painstakingly made curry and arranged them on the desk. The only club members who managed a decent result were Rika-chan's group. Knowing full well it was a failure, Reina plated her curry for the judges. She already knew she was going to get a low score. But at least she was still able to serve hers. Both Mion's and my curry were completely obliterated, so we couldn't even line them up on the table. The judges started from the curry made by the lower grades. They had a lively discussion, praising the food. Finally, it was our curry's turn. Next up is Ryugu-kun's curry. Mm. Yes. This looks quite appetizing. The principal cheerfully shoveled a spoonful of Reina's salty curry into his mouth. Of course, his expression immediately changed. Oh my. What happened, Ryugu-san? The benevolent fair Satoko-chan happened. It seemed so delicious when you were cooking it. Chei-sensei must have had some expectations, judging from her disappointment. Sorry. I might have added a bag of salt by accident. The rest of the judges grimaced after they each had a bite. I feel sorry for them. Failure is but the seasoning for success. I'm looking I look I'm looking forward to next time. Do your best. 
saying that, the prince will devour the rest of the oversalted curry in one go. Truly a man amongst men. Or but just a glutton for punishment. Raina was down and out. Her offensive capabilities were something else. But she was defeated due to her weak defense. Well then. Please savor our curry next. I see that Farood San's group put a lot of effort into their curry. Let's see here. It's simple, but very nicely done. There was also the incident with Reina's salted curry right before this, so the judge's assessment was extraordinarily high. Maybe not just extraordinary, but perhaps today's forerunner. The judges began a heated debate. One of those judges let out a sigh as he removed a chunk of carrot with his spoon. Mm. Yeah, this kid's curry really isn't half bad. But I don't like carrots, you see. Personally, I think that carrots are a staple of curry. I guess they each their own. However, seeing that, Rika-chan read the nameplate on the chest of his coveralls, and began to speak. Uh-oh, she, do she doesn't look happy. That's no good, Kyuji. You have to eat your carrots. What's she saying all of a sudden? Everybody turned to Rika-chan with a stunned look. But what Rika-chan just did was super effective. The carrot-hating judge began stuffing his face with curry while tears streamed down his face. Weak! Kyoji? Kyoji? There's seconds if you want them. <laughs> Mommy! While crying like that, he continued to shovel curry into his mouth. Super weak. That's right. Rikachan's curry was by no means simple. No. That curry had the taste of a mother's cooking! Really, I could have sworn that he was just begging for his mom to come save him from Rikachan. With the carrot hating judge out of the picture, Rikachan's assessment was, una was unanima unanimous. Nobody can stand up to Rika's curry. Correction, Zatoko. Nobody can stand up to Rika. Satoko let, let off a shrill laugh as she declared victory. But at that moment... Don't, Don't be fooled, my esteemed judges! Oh. Don't be deceived into thinking that this meager slop is the taste only a mother can provide. What you people actually wanted to eat was this kind of curry, wasn't it? Oh. All of a sudden, in all its perfect glory, Mion's curry! Not only the judges, but the teacher, the underclassmen, and of course myself, could only gasp in admiration. Hamburg steak with demi with demi glass sauce and fresh salad. It's a set. It wouldn't be stretching it to say that this was a full course meal. It's perfect, perfectly made. Well, again, gotta give her credit. She certainly came prepared. Amazing, amazing! Mi chan, you're amazing! Mi chan, you're amazing! Satoka was also shocked. Even Rika couldn't hide her surprise. It seemed the victor was decided without even needing a taste. 
That's not fair. You should at least taste the shit. Of course, the hamburger was hen was hen needed. The salad was also also had a homestyle dressing, but a professional quality. And the curry, not even a micron of grit. This is sublime. Truly a taste of savor, Sonozaki-san. This curry is no doubt a living testimony to 6,000 years of Indian knowledge and beautiful harmony with Japanese cuisine. I'm elated. This deserves full marks. I'm giving it 100 points. Aw, you're welcome. I'm just trying to set an example as class representative. Mion bowed politely. And then winked at us with a smirk on her face. I admit defeat. There's no way this is happening. I'm certain I sabotaged that pot of rice. That's right. Satoko had dumped salt into Mion's rice cooker, which should have ruined it. But that moment it hit me. I spun back towards my own canister. That's why! Why did she swap yours out? At some point, my cooking canister had been opened. Its contents completely emptied. Me, me, Damn you, Mion! You used my rice. That's no fair. You have no right to complain, given the tactics you display throughout this. Hand over half of your curry. Mion clucked her tongue and waved her finger at me as a smirk washed over her face. Whoa there, Kei-chan. You're not taking this seriously enough. You gave... you gave up at the last moment. I didn't. That's the difference between us. As soon as you give up, it's all over. I couldn't even properly voice my shame. Mi-chan, I feel sorry for Keiichi-kun. Just give him at least a little. It's fine, it's fine. This is a lesson. Keiichi-kun just learned that you shouldn't give up on the contest until it's all over. Right? It loathes me to say it, but... Mion is right. To give up so quickly on the match, it was my own folly. For Mion to have brought that to my attention, I should actually be thankful to her. Well then, did that mean that even in this situation, I shouldn't give up? My curry was overturned while I was still in, in the pot. I don't even have any rice left. I'm the blaze is my not supposed to lose hope in this situation. My Barasan. Tomotakun and Okamura kun suddenly appeared. Damn it! Even though my proges had tried so hard, I wasn't able to meet their expectations. Shocking! Said no one ever. It was an accident. There was nothing you could do. Both of them were dejected. I couldn't accept defeat so easily. I was their senior. What would I be if I didn't pick up the broken pieces of the dream I had showed them? I just learned from Mion just now, didn't I? Don't throw away the contest! Not until the last moment! 
Think, Keiichi Mebara. Think! Not about how to make more curry, about how to win the match! I had an idea. Should I be scared? I didn't think it could turn to tables, but it was better than nothing. Tomita-kun, come and wash your hands! Help me out! Makura-kun, there's something I want you to find! Okay! Gotcha! Both of them dispersed after receiving these instructions. Oh? Oh? How is Kei-chan going to flounder about at the end? Why don't you show me? Nobody likes a stubborn fool, you know. Shut up! Just sit there and watch the last card I have to play. First off, Mion, I'll be taking some of your rice. I won't let you say no. I don't really care. I'm salty after all. It's okay if Reina helps too, right? Keiichi-kun is in trouble right now. Hearing you say that is very reassuring. Well then, Reina. Go make some tea. He doesn't trust me. Next, Satoko! Also, Rika-chan! I challenge you to a side bet. What did you say? We'll listen to your request. This was my duty to my two protégés who shed blood, sweat, and tears for my sake. Sadoko! Aren't, aren't you forgetting Mr. Curry? He was also helpful uh, helpful to these two to these two ladies at some point. As you've clearly demonstrated, Keiichi. Stoko, Riga Chan! If I received a perfect score, I'll be taking your curry. Nothing for you to eat! You need to know when to stop joking around. How about you giving a big no to that? No, it's alright, Satoko. Take him up on it. Firmly patting the top of Satoko's head, Mion said those words of all the gravitas of a club president. You handicapped him this much, didn't you? There's no way he can make up for that. So meet him head on. No matter how hard he struggles, he's not going to make a comeback. Right. Yeah, that may be true, but... I don't mind. Keiichi, go for it. Yay. What are you gonna do, I wonder? The judges, seemingly growing tired of sampling the various curries, were debating each entry. From what little I overheard, it seemed that Mion's impending victory was not in question. So, by the way, what happened to Maybara Kun's curry? I still haven't tried it yet. Yeah. The pot. The pot with my curry in it fell over. Hmm? Is that so? That's a real shame. I may have lost my curry, but that doesn't mean I've lost this contest. I'll have everybody singing my praises. 
My combative posturing had drawn the attention of all the judges. First of all, just be quiet and eat these, please. I'll listen to your complaints after that. This is my cooking! That's. Onigiri, huh? The judges smiled wryly at the sample fare that was quite in contrast to the preceding Rabido. Rena poured tea into the cups she had brought over from the break room. He, he's making a mockery of this! There! Look! It's not even any filling. It's nothing more than salted onigiri! This isn't even worthy of being called a contest anymore! It's true. The amount of salt might be a little much, but... Rand's expressions told me that she thought this was a great idea, but it might still not be enough to win the match. Ibarra san, is this really is this really enough to make a comeback? Gentlemen, you did well. It's alright. Just watch. The judges were chewing their mouths full and sipping at tea. Nobody was singing praises or awestruck. They were just quietly chowing down. It seems that Kei-chan has learned how to use some rather underhanded tricks. What is he doing exactly? Just setting up, setting up some pre-existing flavor on their tongues with these appetizers for something? I don't know. This? Might be difficult. Yeah, that's right. Rena understands that now, too. What do you mean? Why is everybody just quietly eating that much? He sees the Toko chan. That's because the judges are actually tired of eating curry. Because they were judges, they had to sample each and every offering. And because they were from small children, because they were made to show their appreciation, they couldn't eat just a little bit of each. Hmm. Sometimes a man values the amount more than the taste. At those times, rather than rich, mind-blowing flavor, they crave simplicity. They couldn't say it out loud, but this was the tastiest thing they had today. I confirmed that by looking at their eyes as the judges smiled wryly. I'll praise your efforts, but today's contest was about courage. I'm not sure we can give a score to this. The teacher and the principal had folded their arms while they pondered the situation. My underlings, seeing that, saw a small glimmer of hope, the small glimmer of hope fade away and grew dejected. Ugh. Was this little surprise just not enough? Don't give up, Kei-chan. Mion whispered quietly. That's right. If I didn't push here... Yeah, no. I'll have you give it a score. You think that curry and onigiri are really that different? You're sorely mistaken. Maibara-kun, what are you saying? 
How are they? How are they the same? The principal stopped the teacher. It looked like he was giving me one final chance. The judges, having eaten their fill, quietly waited for my statement. In his homeland of India, curry is usually eaten with a type of bread called naan, isn't it? Is that how you even say that right? Therefore, you could say this cuisine we call curry rice is something that we have adopted and modified. Just as the teacher said at the beginning, it's a fusion of Indian and Japanese cuisine. I know what you're trying to say, my Barakun. What, what does that have to do with onigiri? It's actually very simple. Both curry and onigiri are things made to let you enjoy eating rice. Rice was introduced to Japan from ancient China. Our agricultural forebears wa watered the fields, fighting the elements, disease, and pests to grow and raise our rice-centric culture. Raise, excuse me. Yes, the Japanese people have formulated a plethora of dishes, but those were nothing more than attempts to find ways to enjoy eating rice. In other words, curry and onigiri are both the results of RICE CULTURE! It was scared at first, but slowly grew into a steady roar. It was a thunderous applause that praised me! <laughs> Enough the not with the nonsense already! I won't accept this! The heaters are only judging curry, you know! This is out of the question! It obviously deserves zero points. Miss Keiichi kun did his best. Could you please acknowledge that? Today's class was supposed to be about curry. What should we do? Mion, stifling her laughter, stepped forward. There's a story about how when a, when a uh, Michelin three-star chef from France came to Japan, people from the hotel he was staying at had a whole bunch of ingredients imported from France. But the chef didn't give them a second glance. I wonder why that was. They were ingredients from his homeland. The chef went to the local fish market and made a dish from fresh fish caught in Japan. The culture of food isn't bound by predetermined rules. It's, it's culture. If you come to Japan, you meld with Japanese culture and make something new. That's how curry and onigiri are the same. Mion! She was, pro pro she was providing fire support. I had to be grateful. The judges were somehow moved by this complicated yet baseless trivia. A stern look washed over the teacher's face as she refolded her arms. Maebara-kun, your pot of curry was flipped over, wasn't it? Even though I said at the beginning to be careful. I'm sorry. But, as Mebaraku and Sonozaki san said, there are no boundaries in cuisine. 
人を心底簡単させるものならその形式は何ら差別されるものではない。If it's something that can amaze people, then it's not something that should be discriminated against just because of the form. Ja, ja. Then, then. Onabe o hikri kaista no de, gen ten niju. For spilling your pot, minus twenty points. Demo, kyo da ke desu yo. But, just for today. Kujike nai de gan batta no de, tokubetsu ni niju ten plus. For not giving up and doing your best. Plus 20 points. So, zero points so far. I'll give you 100 points. Damn! My b a r s a n We did it! My underclassman left at me. A perfect score! We did it! We did it! Well, shit, I was totally wrong then about、um, you losing this at the end. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm happy that you somehow won, but still. I'm amazed. The curry was split and our rice was taken. But we made a comeback! In the end, Rika Chan's curry also received full marks, so everybody but Reyna had a perfect score. Poor Reyna. Since this contest was outside the scope of regular club activities, there wasn't any particular penalty game. Raina breathed a sigh of relief. Now then, as promised, Satoko, Rika chan, I'll be taking your curry. But that means we won't have any lunch! Ah! Stucco stomped angrily at the ground in frustration. But the price of defeat was absolute. Is what I wanted to say, but I'll show you some mercy. By having them take a couple bites of their curry and then, and then taking those, those bits of food that they've already bitten along with their spoons and then giving it to the boys, right? Is that where you're leading up with this? You can eat half! Thank you, Keiichi. My two proges peered over from the sidelines, tears of joy streaming from their faces. We exchanged glances that would only be understood amongst men. We did it, Maybara san.、Oh, this, uh, this is all thanks to you! We flash each other a thumbs up. Now, I just have to give these to my pupils. I've gotten pretty hungry myself. I guess I'll have one of my onigiri. But, but, huh? There was no trace of my onigiri. The ones I had set aside for myself included. As I peered around searching for them, The principal clapped a hand on my shoulder. <laughs> you stole my food! When I was listening to that speech you gave, the rice I was chewing grew even more delicious. <laughs> Thief! Um, 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 Could it be that you also ate my share? <laughs> The principal simply laughed without answering.、S、seriously? My eyes half brimming with tears and my stomach rumbling, I was called over by the teacher. Maebara kun? Sakki wa ayu ba datta no de manten toyu koto ni shimashita ga. My Barakun,、ね、because of the circumstances, I had to give you a perfect score, but. You understand, right? Eh? Wakatte te. Huh? Nani ga ska? Understand. What? There was an odd glint in the teacher's eyes. Um. If I had to describe it. It was curry colored. 
like a pot of stew and curry. Her eyes whirled around in a spiral. A chill washed over me. The teacher clutched me by the shoulders and drew me in closer until our noses were almost touching. Curry is this world's most respected and sacred of dishes. I will absolutely not allow it to be put in the same category as onigiri. You hear me? カレーは四大化線文明に匹敵する第五の文明として古代インドに生まれアショカ王の時代にカピラ城で釈迦の生誕に万国植文化博覧会が絶賛してミシュラングルグルエフェルトスラムカレー漬けをグツグツ煮込